Welcome to deploying to a cloud application server. In the previous section, we talked about some of the more traditional methods of deploying an application to a web server. In this section, you'll learn how to deploy your Laravel application on two different cloud hosting platforms, Heroku and Bluemix. This first video will be covering deploying to Heroku. We'll cover everything you need to do to prepare your Laravel application teach you how to deploy it, and then we'll go back and test to make sure it's running properly on the cloud platform. Go ahead and open up your terminal. Most of our work in this video will be done through the terminal. To start off, you want to either create a new Laravel project and CD into that folder, or navigate using CD to a current Laravel project you already have created. Either way, you want to be inside the Laravel project root directory. If you remember video 1.3 from earlier in the course, where we installed the Heroku tool belt and created a Heroku account, you're going to need to log into Heroku using the Heroku command line interface. In your terminal, type in Heroku login. It's going to ask you for your email and password you created towards the beginning of the course. Just keep in mind that when you enter your password, it will be completely hidden. But just because you don't see yourself typing anything doesn't mean it's not working. Just pretend you're typing your password in with your eyes closed. You need to make sure you have a composer.json and a composer.lock file. This is how Heroku knows this is a PHP application. Your Heroku app needs to know to serve the site from your Laravel application slash public directory. To do this, all you have to do is create a new file called proc file. Now open up that file and insert the line web colon vendor slash bin slash heroku dash php dash apache 2 space public into that file. The next thing we'll need to do is initialize an empty git repository. After we set things up, all we'll have to do is push our git repository to Heroku and it will upload everything for us. So type in git init. We need to add and commit our files to git so it can keep track of them. You can do that by typing in git add dot and then git commit dash m and give it a commit message like initial commit. We need to create a new application on Heroku. You might be able to think of this new application like a folder on your desktop. For each project, you need a new folder to hold these files. So in order to create a new app on Heroku, type in Heroku create dash dash build pack and give it the build pack URL. The app name is optional. If you choose not to add one, then Heroku will randomly assign it a name for you. The last thing we need to do before we can deploy our Laravel application is set the app key environment variable to a random 32 character long string. We can generate the string using PHP artisan key colon generate. And we can set it using Heroku config colon set app key and then copy and paste in the random string we just generated. Great! Our Laravel application is all set up and ready to deploy. As I mentioned earlier, Heroku uses Git to deploy our application. So just type in Git push Heroku master and Heroku will take care of the rest. If successful, then it's time for us to test our Laravel application. In your terminal, type in Heroku Open, and it'll launch your website on your default browser. Once your page loads, you should see the famous Laravel splash page. Congratulations, you just deployed your Laravel application to Heroku.